hello again thank you for watching the video uh, this is just a part two to um, showing a difference between the S video and the composite output from the Pioneer laser displayer so this is um, a later sort of laser displayer that had a S video output um, but S video output doesn't really bring anything new to the table and um, swapping between the S video and the composite output to the Toshiba DVD recorder doesn't seem to produce any noticeable um, differences in the output. So at the moment, um, because the way this, this is working, it's, um, it's got everything plugged in here. So it's got the composite and the S video, but the S video signal will um, override the composite. Um, well, they're both plugged in like that. So um, I'll just show you the screen. So this is for the, <laughs> it's gone black and white. What you gonna do because it's not plugged in properly. Okay, so that's the S video output. So all it's doing is basically showing the S video output with the composite signal. So I'll just forward that on. And I'm just going to pull out the S video now. You'll see the screen flicker slightly. So that's now relying purely on the composite. And I'm just gonna try to pause this so we can see um, that it's, um, it's got some artifacts there in the video. And um, I'm just going to now switch back to the S video. So let me watch the screen go. There you go. So that's the S video. And let's just play that. So it doesn't look like there's any discernible differences on this Pioneer machine. And it's showing that the composite output um, going to the S video is actually um, very similar or if not the same so uh, let's just flip that over so i can't really see any any sort of difference so i think with this particular player um yeah if you've if you've already just got a standard cable um i would suggest not bothering with the s video and just use the um, the yellow composite plus obviously your stereo left and right and, um, and just go with that because that seems to be enough. Um, just shown on here, I have got HQ circuit enabled for the um, for this particular player. Um, but thanks to one of my watchers, uh, viewers, I should say, um, who asked a question uh, about the signal, and um, hopefully this short video has just shown that um, if there is a difference, it's probably very very small. Um, and in most cases, it probably just does make sense to um, use the standard composite outputs to make your recording with. Thank you very much for watching and I'll do some more videos in the future. Bye for now.